Some years ago, I was um, standing here at the beginning of the service, and I got up to read the Scripture. And I read Psalm 107. And uh, I just read it like I always do and prayed, and then uh, we sang, and then we preached and went through the whole service. Afterwards, I stepped over here, and a handsome, tall, about six foot three, young, blonde man walked up to me and very, very agitated, very, very upset. And he said, I have to talk, I have to talk to somebody, I have to talk to somebody. And I said, Sure, I'll talk to you. And I wound up spending time with him. His name was Robert Lagerstrom. He was one of the leaders of the Gay Pride Parade in Los Angeles. And he uh, had been involved in, in, the, in the world of homosexuality for decades. And he had AIDS, and he had been told that he was going to die. So he said to some of his friends, I don't want to die. I'm afraid to die. Is there anyone that can help me face death? And some of his homosexual acquaintances told him to go to Grace Community Church. That's right. <laughs> but we've been here a long time, and they know what we stand for. And he came and he sat right back there. He told me all this. And he, he said, I sat there hoping in desperation to hear something that would save me. And you got up, he said, and you read Psalm 107. And when I heard that, he said, I was so overwhelmed. I just wanted to get out of that seat and come up and grab you and say, how can I receive that? And he said, you just kept preaching and preaching and <laughs> preaching and preaching, and I didn't hear anything you said. I said, when is this guy going to quit so I can get up there? It was all under the reading of Psalm 107. And this is what I read. They wandered in the wilderness in a desert region. They didn't find a way to an inhabited city. They were hungry and thirsty. Their soul fainted within them. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble. He delivered them out of their distresses. He led them also by a straight way to an inhabited city. Let them give thanks to the Lord for His loving kindness and for His wonders to the sons of men. For He has satisfied the thirsty soul, and the hungry soul He has filled with what is good. There were those who dwelt in darkness and in the shadow of death, prisoner, prisoners in misery and chains, because they had rebelled against the words of God and spurned the counsel of the Most High. Therefore He humbled their heart with labor. They stumbled. There was none to help. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble. He saved them out of their distresses. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death, broke their bands apart, let them give thanks to the Lord for His loving kindness and for His wonders to the sons of men. For He has shattered gates of bronze and cut bars of iron asunder." And I stopped there. And he said, that was me, and I heard that I could be rescued, that the bars that had held me, the chains that had bound me could be shattered, that the darkness could become light. And he embraced Christ. A few weeks later right here on our baptistry, I baptized him, and he gave his testimony. And they, um, they had a funeral for him when he died a few weeks after that. And all this homosexual leadership people that are part of that gay pride world came and they played his testimony from the waters of baptism here to all of them. He was washed and he was sanctified and he was justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. And in those last weeks, they all came by to see him and all of them heard the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. This is love speech, folks. This is the message that God loves and forgives any sinner who repents and comes to Christ. 